So the question is, is what is merged reality? So basically, merged reality is an upgrade from virtual reality to keep you from going to the hospital. Now you sit there, you may be thinking about it, you may be like, uh, what do you mean? Why would virtual reality send me to the hospital? Well, it's important to understand, in standard virtual reality, you're all encompassed in whatever virtual world you're in. So you put on the virtual reality goggles, you put on the, uh, you, you put on the, the headset, and you are totally in whatever world that you're in. Well, the thing is, with virtual reality, they're trying to get it so that you can be more and more free. So not only can you simply sit in a chair and look around, but the idea is that you should be able to walk in a room. Well, if the issue comes is you're totally ensconced in your virtual reality world and all of a sudden the dog runs, runs into the room, gets onto your legs and splat! You, you wipe out and you hurt yourself and end up going to the hospital. So basically, one of the problems with virtual reality is especially as we, we try to get it so people can move around in, in the real world in a three-dimensional space, is the problem is when you're dealing with three-dimensional spaces, you deal with dogs and you deal with kids and you deal with Tonka trucks and you deal with uh, coffee tables and all of that kind of stuff. And if you're totally in a virtual reality world and you're moving around just by very definition, you're not going to be able to see those items and you're going to ram your shin into a coffee table or some other catastrophe is going to ensure. So the problem that we're trying to deal with is how can we have people move around in a virtual world, but also make it so that they avoid obstacles or so that they can basically see items and know that they're supposed to stay away from it, but that they can see those things without it breaking them out of that virtual environment. So you don't simply want to, you know, put a red, red box in a particular area or make something ugly so that people don't go there. So one of the things that merged reality can do is let's say that there's a coffee table. So you have a coffee table and you're walking around. What happens with merged reality uh, goggles, glasses, is that they have cameras on the outside of them looking around at the world around you. And so what they can do is, using the algorithm, they can see something like a coffee table, and then they basically reskin the coffee table as a bush. So if you're walking around a room and there's a coffee table in front of you, instead of seeing a coffee table in your virtual world, you will see a bush, and you will know you're not supposed to walk through that bush. Um, that's the type of thing that you can do. So if a dog runs through your little area uh, for, for in virtual reality, you can see, I don't know, whatever kind of weird alien squiggle through and, and you know not to trip over your own dog. So basically what merged reality does is you have the normal virtual reality experience. There are cameras on the outside of the virtual reality goggles that see the world around you. And then that merged reality is able to interpret what is around you and then essentially visually reskin uh, what it's seen so it can now bring that into your virtual world uh, so that you know where those objects are. So one of the, the ways that this can be really cool as imagine if you're in a virtual world, such as you're on a starship or if you're working in a virtual environment and you have something like a desk in front of you. One of the things merged reality can do is it can simply reskin that desk. So the desk is still here, but instead of seeing this crappy work desk, I would see the desk of a starship enterprise. And if I turn around, p perhaps there are bookshelves behind me. So instead of seeing the bookshelves that, shelves that I have with computer books or whatever else uh, like that, I would look behind me and there would be a bookshelf and I would see replicas of different starships or something like that. The idea being is it can take the things that are in the physical world, interpret them, and basically display some type of other skin, some type of imagery over those um, so that I know the physical item is there, but I'm seeing something that's more appropriate for the virtual space. I would argue I think this is where merged reality is going versus the other view of merged reality is more of a highly augmented reality, the idea being that you'll see the world around you, but then computer items will be placed on places. So you may see this like the idea of being able to play Minecraft on a table. 
The problem that I would argue with that is you're used to looking at the normal world at whatever resolution we see the normal world as. If you look at the normal world and it all looks pixelated because you're now having to look through a screen, that's going to look very weird to you. So I think that's going to be a very weird implementation for merge reality. So I would argue more likely where we're going to be seeing most of the merge reality is you'll be in a virtual reality world and it will simply reskin the physical objects around you in order to match what would go well in that virtual reality world. So that's all merge reality is. Basically, merge reality is virtual reality with cameras on the headset being able to interpret the world around you. It then will reskin the world around you so that you can see you can see where physical objects are, but again, instead of seeing a coffee table, now you'll see a bush, something like that. That would be better for things such as keeping yourself from being injured and winding up in the hospital and will also allow for people to have a more physical experience while also being able to see things in the virtual world. So again, a table or an object, you'll be able to pick it up, but instead of it being a glass, maybe it's a grenade or something like that. You still have that physical item, but it looks different when you're holding it in that virtual world. So that's all merge reality is, and that's why it matters.